Hey there, welcome to No Rest Period Required. My name's Dave, and I gotta tell you, there's nothing I liked better in my childhood than grandma's meatballs. They were, uh, you know, they're just succulent little, tasty little balls of balls of dough, balls of meat. Um, unfortunately, you know, the recipe was kind of lost, frankly, but I've got uh, some cousins who have a version of it, and we've kind of pieced this and that and the other thing together, and I think I've come up with a version that um, certainly brings me back to those days. It's absolutely awesome. It's kind of like a Swedish meatball a little bit, and um, I'm going to show you how to make it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for my grandmother's famous, delicious, wonderful meatballs, I'm going to uh, I'm going to saute some onions off. This is just a um, one onion, finely diced. I'm going to saute in some olive oil. I'm not looking to get any color. I just want to sweat them off. I'm going to toss them, throw a little bit of salt in there to help them break down. And then once they're soft, I'm going to let them cool, and they're going to be added to our meat. Okay, let's go ahead and mix up our meatballs. Um, I've got here half beef, half pork, about a pound of each, and this is probably going to make, um, I don't know, maybe 30 meatballs or so, 30, 40. Obviously, depending on how large you make them. I'm going to add, um, these are the um, onions that we sweated off and softened before. This is a package of onion soup mix uh, that I just picked up at the grocery store. I'm going to add an egg. I'm going to add some breadcrumbs. And I don't, obviously, I don't measure too carefully. This is probably half a cup of breadcrumbs. I'm going to get a good amount of salt and pepper in there. Probably going to come back with a little bit more pepper, salt, and then we're just going to mix this all up. Obviously, you can use the uh, you know the spatula here, wooden spoon, but frankly, easiest thing to do is really just get in with your hands. Once we get all this mixed up, I'm just going to go ahead and form a um, just a little bit of a taster meatball, um, and then cook it off before I make any of the other meatballs, and uh, make sure I have the seasoning right. From there, you know I can add more salt, pepper, anything it needs, and then we'll uh, we'll come back. We'll make our meatballs. Okay, after we get all of our uh, mix done, I did my little taster, and we're going to go ahead and form our meatballs. Now, these ones, I just bake off in the oven with, uh, with the sauce that we'll show you how to do. It's very simple. As opposed to uh, some other meatball recipes I do, like Italian meatballs, where I like to saute them first. These just, uh, these just kind of bake off. And uh, I'm not too, too concerned if they're touching a little bit, but you don't want to overcrowd the pan too much. So let me just finish rolling these out and uh, we'll show you how to do the sauce. Okay, for our meatballs, our sauce, if you want to call it a sauce, eh, we'll call it a sauce, maybe a gravy, um, is actually nothing more than um, mushroom soup, cream of mushroom soup. Um, and I've got a few cans here that I'm pulling out. I like to heat mine up before I pour it over the meatballs and really, that's the hardest thing to do is heating it up. Um, you know, you see how thick it is. It's almost, um, well, it's like lava. Um, and it's really going to kind of bubble up on you. I will, uh, I'm just going to take one can, fill it up with water. This is probably four cans worth of soup. I'm going to do one can of water, add that in. I don't like to dilute it any more than that. Um, then once we're hot, we'll go ahead and pour this over our meatballs, stick our meatballs in the oven. Okay, once our sauce is hot, I just like to lay it literally right over the meatballs, ladle it on. Um, I certainly like to cover, uh, you know, get me I get some sauce on top of the meatball, but you know, it's not a huge deal. And you're maybe looking to get it about a quarter inch high um, off, the, um, off the bottom of the dish. Now, if like me, you had a little bit more meat than you had room in the pan, you just make a little companion dish and you do the exact same thing. Throw them both in the oven and it's not going to be a problem. So I'm going to pop these into a uh, like a 380, 400 degree oven and they're going to take about 45 minutes or so. Best way to tell when they're done is actually just pop a meatball out and cut it up but eventually you'll just figure it out. Okay after about 45 minutes to an hour my meatballs are done. You should get a nice, uh, you know, golden brown top in places. Doesn't have to be everywhere. Bubbling, definitely. 
Um, that flavor is nice and concentrated. We're just going to let this settle down and then you are good to go. Four or five of these. Maybe a little bit of mashed potatoes, some peas maybe. Comfort food heaven for me. I hope it is for you. And I will see you next time on No Recipe Required.